My name is Kelsey and I am a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app. My closet name is Kelsey's One Posh Stop, which I will link down below. And I want to talk today about two methods that I've figured out on how to get a host pick to a party. So if you're new to selling on Poshmark, you might not know what a party is or what a host pick is. So a party is basically just a page that you're sharing to your items to, and it's got certain requirements that your items have to meet. So it might be brand specific, it might be size specific, like petites or plus size, and it might be um, just a theme like outdoor items or whatever, and it's specific brands as well. Um, or it might be just an, a free-for-all party, which are what the evening parties are. So the last party of the day, which for me in central time is at nine, um, is just open to any items. You can share literally everything. It, the name doesn't really mean anything. So I figured out two ways. The first way is I've joined a couple of Facebook groups that are Poshmark seller specific. One of them I believe is called Poshmark Thrifters and one is like the best Poshmark advice, something like that. So in those groups, people who have gotten to be a host um, and you can send in a request to be a host um, I think you just send a submit a form or something and it can take like six months or longer or shorter depending um, to get chosen to be a host and you have to meet a certain set of requirements. I think you have to be an ambassador and I'm not sure what else. So in those Facebook groups that I'm in, um, people who have recently been chosen as a host will sometimes post and say that I'm going to be a host of this party. Please share your links down below. Send me um, your items to my closet something like that. So in that case, I will, you know, send, write, put a link to my closet, put a link to the item that I think would be suitable for that party or share it directly to the closet, whatever that they specify. And um, that's resulted in several host picks for me. So that's kind of like campaigning to get your host pick. So then the other method is, I'm not sure if I've seen, I haven't seen anybody else do this. Um, and I think it's because there's a lot of confusion around whether or not you can share multiple times to a party, which I will explain in a second. But so let me show you on my iPad. So what I will do, I can do this on my iPad or on my web browser, um, is I will go to my item and you can do it from the page or you can do it from the item page. So if that item qualifies for the party, then what I do is I line up the share button to where this where it ever it ends up on this item doesn't qualify for this party so i'm not sharing it to that but so i line it up and then i just tap so i make sure that it lines up and then i just tap over and over and over again and i'll do it like a hundred times i'll do it a lot and um what that's doing is it's not sharing it again to the party like it would be if you were sharing it to your followers it's bumping it up on the feed so it will only be there once when someone scrolls down they won't see it again but they will see it, if they refresh their page, they'll see it at the top again. So, and whoever new is coming to the party will see it at the top. But obviously there's thousands and thousands and thousands of items being shared every second, so they're not actually gonna, not everyone is gonna see it at the top. Just select people based on the timing, whatever. I don't know fully how it works, it's very complicated. But so, in that case, when I share like that, when I blast share to the party, it tends to get me a host pick if I do it towards the beginning of the party and sometimes even at the middle or the end. Um, and so that way I've pretty, not always, but pretty consistently, I'd say like 75% of the time, it'll get me a host pick. So those are two ways to get host picks, but also what you need to think about is host picks don't really matter. <laughs> so it does not equal a sale. It does mean you get a lot of action and it does put you on a more curated page. Is anyone going to the host pick page other than the people who are commenting on these things? I don't know. When I share from parties, I don't generally go to the host picks page, but um, I think a lot of people do because I get a lot of shares. So what I like to do when I do get a host pick is keep sharing that item, especially after the party has ended because I thought for a long time that after the party's ended, it just locks in place, right? The party is over, everything stays where it was, but that's not true. Every time you share that item to your followers, it bumps back up in the feed. So anybody who's coming to the party a few minutes after that it's over is still gonna see that at the top of the feed. And I feel like maybe a lot of people stop sharing after the party, I don't know. But, um, so I like to keep sharing even after the party, like within the next hour. 
but so I will blast share which does help and I think some people are afraid of blast sharing they think it's like too much like but it's not like in person it's very different it's you nobody's gonna see it multiple times mostly you're sharing it to new people every time so it's more just like getting more eyes on your item and I get a lot of shares I get a lot of I don't get a lot of likes <laughs> necessarily but I do get a lot of shares and um you know I'll get comments congratulating me I host pick whatever but so I think the most important thing, not necessarily about getting a, is getting a host pick, I think the most important thing is just to get more eyes on your item. And I've noticed that um, like the evening party doesn't equal a lot, doesn't, it hasn't really led to any sales for me, but the specific size and brand parties have absolutely led to sales for me, directly from sharing, I know for sure. So that I do recommend, especially if you have items that fit into the parties, Blast share those items. Don't be afraid to share them multiple times. Um, so let me know what you think. Do you think that this is not true? Do you think that, have you been doing this already? Um, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any recommendations of other techniques. Um, and I would like to share that I am going to Posh Fest this weekend. I'm very excited. Um, this will be my first Posh Fest, so I hope I can share a few of my experiences um, on YouTube. And thank you so much for watching.